Hey everyone, this is Hydroxide. <laughs> this is Hydroxide It. <laughs> and I love life. So welcome to Background Noise episode 81, take two. Take um, two. <laughs> so it's kind of awkward. So I did this the podcast. So this podcast is going up a day late because we're recording in a day late because the original version of 81. Uh, face planted in a pile of death, and uh, yeah, no, I just hate when that happens. happens. <laughs> Don't you just hate when that happens? But so we have a new podcast this week, uh, and the four pe- we have four people on, including me. I think I'm a person. I'm not really sure. We have Mark. Yeah. How you doing, Mark? Um, sexy as always. Ah, uh, dude, I'm glad to hear, dude. I that Snapchat just. Man. Uh, uh, I can't even uh, say it. I for you for legal purposes, I really shouldn't be talking about it. <laughs> but um, all right. Well, we have someone who's their first time on the podcast. Uh, that would be me. Yeah, that would be my good friend Mike. How are you doing today, Mike? I'm I'm doing pretty swell. Doing pretty swell, dude. You're officially being added to my notebook list of people that've been on the podcast. I, I'm pretty excited about that. I have to say, dude. So, uh, I seriously I, I keep like... track of who's been on the podcast. And so, I give you a tally mark every time you're on the podcast. So I have to give Mark and Chance a tally mark as well. Speaking of Chance, hello, Chance. Hi, kids. Hi. How's everyone doing today? You know, I'm all right, man. I was a little, is... I was a little bummed out that uh, I couldn't figure out the audio, but dude, this podcast is going to be just as great. It's going to be better because I'm here, so... Dude, yeah, Chance... W- all three of these people weren't in la- the last one. The last one that I did, actually, uh, was Cat, Sky, and Hank. I haven't been on in a few weeks. Yeah, Chance hasn't been on... Well, actually, no, you were on last actually, week for, like, five seconds. For, like, two seconds. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I got kicked out. I'm, I'm going to be honest, like, I really didn't want you to leave that early. I was hoping you could stay in for a while. Yeah, but that I, was I wanted hilarious. to add you to my ring of alliances. Oh, my God, Mark is a sequel <laughs> motherfucker, dude. Well, I have a question. Who won that? Uh, Mark, Nathan, and Tykiller. And Sky has already told me he's gonna kill me next pod- next time we do that. Yeah, because we're gonna do it again eventually. Yeah. Oh great. Uh, yeah. Yay. But chance, don't Chips. worry. You can be in the call Chips. from the beginning and win this time. And and you can be on my team. No, you're gonna be on my team. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be on my team. <laughs> you know, whatever the alliances are, I don't really care. Just uh. Try not to spread so much blood because background noise has white carpeting. Actually, ah! I don't know if it's white. Um, Plus, when we kill people, we like to do it a humane way. That's why you're sponsored by a rope company and not a company that sells knives. Oh, uh-huh. but it's so I sad it moment. I actually shouted out Chance's rope company on the original version of this podcast. I was like, hey, guys, our sponsor this week is Chance's Rope Company. Hey, when it comes to suicide, why take the chance? You ah, you're funny. Company. God damn it. <laughs> so, Mike, wow. we, ha- we have this running, like, gag that uh, Chance has a rope company. Uh, okay, okay. And I don't have her. I have a sponsor for the podcast. So, Chance is like, hey, why don't we have my rope company? Oh, oh, Ch- Chance's rope company. I- I'm familiar with that. It's, it, you, you guys sell some pretty good quality. Oh, it's yeah. We Amazon. also we also uh, sell the rope for, yeah, that you use, Mike. Uh, I'm... That, I, that, I, that I use. I'm confused and conflicted. Bondage. Yeah, bondage. Oh, okay, I oh, didn't want to come out um, and say bondage, but. Bondage. Anyways. Okay. What well, chance you you are you? Why are you so embarrassed that we're talking about bondage? Uh, that's not what my ropes. That's not the proper use of the products. Yeah, my proper the proper use is suicide. <laughs> but like, like, what if they died in bondage? Like, we even have a fucking label on our package that says, "If our rope doesn't kill you." We will kill you for yourself. <laughs> Just come by our office and we'll come Just come by our office. We will kill you. We will and and ha- how life. many people have you had come by your office? Only two. Oh, so they were kind of, un- they, they weren't very satisfied with, with the products they were I buying. Mean, yeah. They end up dying. So, so we had two interns go to fucking uh, prison for 20 years. <laughs> uh, those out. interns. They're out. Is that why you always have help wanted outside? <laughs> yeah. Yes. We need fall guys. <laughs> Hey, if you guys want a job and don't mind being a fall guy, Chance got you. Yeah. 
Like, if you just need a job and, like, for a little I bit mean, you make some money, but eventually you're going to go to jail for about 20 years. So which live it up while you work scenario there. means that, uh, you know, you're going to jail and getting three meals a day and clean clothes in bed. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, Chance, you should employ the homeless. Fact. Yeah, you really should. Like, and just get them to murder people well, for you. And also fucking Mark, because I know he has nothing else going on for his life. Mm, so. No, not really. He, he could use a good murder every now and then. Yeah. Yeah, I spice things up, and I don't get caught. So, so chance. That, do, that do sounds you go like to an jail. Asset. Why am I on this podcast right now? Then you like we're really friendly. <sighs> you escaped. Cards. This is turning into a into a pretty awkward uh, conversation now, Mark. Uh, there's some sides I haven't known about you. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. well, Mike, you're the one who broke me out. You should know this. <laughs> Mike, remember when you picked him up next to the prison? It was it wasn't next to the prison. It was from the prison. He wasn't visiting a relative, he like was, he said. He lied to you. I, that's I, the third I, time that's happened to me. was just uh, <laughs> some tie-dye error, but... I just no. picture in two other scenarios where Mike pulls up from the prison. It's like, <laughs> why don't all my friends visit, like, people in jail? I don't understand. <laughs> and, like, he's why do they never driver. have rides? <laughs> why, why, why do my friends never have rides when they're fucking visiting their uncle in jail? <laughs> And when who was wrongly accused? Who was who was wrongly accused of whatever? <laughs> wrongly accused of uh, 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 killing whatever. someone for chances for a company. <laughs> of child molestation? What? What's that? What I said? <laughs> to kill someone for chances for a company. Right. That's why you visit your uncle Chance. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Hey, it was it was an unfair conviction. Mm. Oh, does that mean he didn't do it? No, no he, he did. did. He did, but they didn't have any proof. Oh. <laughs> they they proved it through illegal means, like uh, like with Ross Ulbrich. I guess you guys don't even know who he is. Pro that is probably that. I've so. heard the name. Uh, but leader of the Silk Road. They Could convicted him yeah. on evidence that they didn't obtain legally. <laughs> Wait, isn't that like illegal? <laughs> yeah. Couldn't like the, the prosecutors go to jail as well? Yeah, the U.S. puts people in jail for doing what the U.S. government did to put this guy in jail. <laughs> so stupid. That's dumb. It's the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. That's Anyways, ridiculous. on a lighter note. On a lighter note, um, lighter rest note. in peace Cloud9. Oh, yep. Uh, uh, that, yeah, they, yeah. Didn't, they didn't win another tournament. Um, yeah. I, I feel like finals. they're never gonna... This time they missed the finals, yeah. They missed it this time. Uh, you know, I don't think they're ever gonna win a tournament. And we're talking about CSGO's Cloud9, not League of Legends. Or anything else. Yeah. Because who gives a fuck about anything else? See, I on this podcast, I don't think any of us play League. Mark, do you play League? Yeah. I used to play League. I've played League a few times, but honestly never got too into it. Yeah. Because, like, I played League and, like, people were like, Oh, man, come on, we gotta get you to, like, level 5 really quickly, really quickly. And, like, they, I had to keep playing and playing. And, uh... And it got boring. And it got boring. And then, they, then we played against, like, a ranked match or something. And we got destroyed and... Like, I was getting yelled at, and I, I cried on the inside a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a lot of fun. I uh, know on the outside, too, but... Yeah, ne uh, don't on the outside, but... Ne next week, I can bring in some friends that are League of Legends experts. They could school you. They experts. very <laughs> would. I, I, I might be able to beat the them at CS. On. Maybe. I don't know, unless they're actually really good at CS, too. One of them actually uh, has, like, a real competitive edge because they play League a lot. Yeah. And I brought, uh, I brought him to CS... And right away, he, this was like his first PC shooter. Right away, he was just like a fucking god. Of course he was. And then he quit like a week later. Oh. Uh -huh. Like he was better than me after a day. And he quit? And he quit. Why? He liked League more. Uh, why not play both? <laughs> like if I liked both of them, I would play both. But he's obsessed with League. Uh, like when like, he's not man. playing League, he's watching League. That's to be fair. When I'm not watching playing CS, I'm watching CS. Yeah, same. So, <laughs> I, I, like us with CS. Yeah, that's true. We have no life. Yeah, basically. And Dude, if I'm not watching anime, I'm, I'm, I'm watching anime. Yeah, so I, I actually, speaking of anime, just to throw this out there real quick, um, in the last week I finished both Angel Beats and Fruits Basket. Um, both, re both uh, Cat said to watch. I think. I don't remember. Uh, but. Cats, I think Cats' favorite anime might actually be Fruits Basket. I think it is. Um, You're my favorite anime, Tony. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Tentacles. Oh, hentai. <laughs> mm. 
I love tentacle porn. What? Hey, dude. Uh, <laughs> look, I have a friend uh, who we totally weren't talking about pre-podcast or anything. No, not at all. That I, uh, he made me follow his Tumblr. Yeah. And um, all of his Tumblr might have been hentai. Well, that's actually pretty funny. Might? Sounds like might, it was, might have it, been hentai? It, it, it was hentai. Because <laughs> the marking 100% probably... of the time? Uh, yeah. I'd say 95. 95. At least. There was occasionally okay. like a witty, like funny, like quote or something. Or a band reference. Yeah, or band reference, but then 95% of the time it was all hentai. You got a problem with that? No, I don't. But like, I wasn't expecting it. Okay. And then you opened up your Tumblr, your Tumblr feed, and you're like, oh, first that's time. hentai. I'm like, oh. I didn't like. I didn't know you could put this on Tumblr. <laughs> I, I you could put anything on Tumblr, dude. I, I have like no idea what the restrictions on Tumblr. Are. What's up, Mike? Isn't like everything fair game? I have or no there idea. Some things they pull down. I have no idea about the rules of they're, Tumblr. They probably fucking pull down child pornography. Uh, oh yeah, well I mean that. <laughs> I mean I oh, think that anything that's illegal Tumblr they'll pull down. Chance. What? Is that why you don't go on Tumblr anymore, Chase? Yeah, I got banned. IP banned from Tumblr. <laughs> I got IP banned from Tumblr. I, I don't even know if there's anyone that works for Tumblr that would know how to do that. Just shots fired. Oh. Rest in oh. Peace, man. I got IP banned from HLTV for two weeks once. Wait, what? Yeah. How? What did you do? <laughs> I don't even remember. It was something really dumb that I said. You just said, um, you just reply to a comment or something? and. Yeah, I, I replied to a fucking... I got into a fight with some fucking guy or something, okay? A few replies in, a Brazilian guy comments and starts siding with the guy, and I just replied 7-1, and then I got banned. <laughs> oh, my God. You're terrible. So, yeah. People still don't take lightly to 7-1 jokes. Or three-fifths compromise jokes. <laughs> Yeah, Tony, Tony, you need to stop yelling that out of black guys while driving in my car. <laughs> Wait, did that happen? Oh, so yes. no, no, not yes. like he said, not like he said, but like, we were parked. Yeah? That's the only time actually I've ever made the joke. Um, me, It was Jacob, Mark, and myself to make it better uh, in the car. And I feel like we were talking about like fucked up things you could say to someone. And I'm yeah. like, I'm like, I think I was like, I got this. And there's a, like three black guys walking. We were parked at like, the beach. Yeah. And, uh, uh, this guy's working the boardwalk, and then I yell, uh, How did you feel about the three-fifths compromise? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> they kept walking. <laughs> Luckily. Because, <I would> <laughs> like, you never know, they could have been the three that could vote. So they would have been like, I was fine with it, I got the vote, my vote counted. I hate you sometimes, I joke. <laughs> what if? <laughs> what if, guys? I'm not racist, I swear. Jacob's one of my best friends. Jacob is your best friend. Okay, Jacob's my best friend. Okay. <laughs> so Jacob's in a game? Uh, we don't know where Jacob is. I tried calling him. Uh, <laughs> you just... So, okay, okay. So you, you know just what? assumed he was in a uh, game. You know, he I is, he, he is in a game. game. Uh, okay, okay. You know what? Uh, for podcasts, um, I'm actually going to call him. Oh, so, so, so for, for no reason other than I was told to do this, um, shout out to Alicia, who apparently I can't say her name, even though... Okay, is it, is it Alicia or Alicia? It's E-L-I-C-I-A. Alicia? I think it's Alicia. Alicia. It's spelled weird. Alicia? <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> no, it's not Alicia, man. I, I'm pretty sure it's Alicia. Alicia. Uh, Alicia. And so, uh, Alicia, Alicia? Sh okay, shout out to you. Uh, you should totally sub to my channel. Whoa, 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 wait. Hey, what Jacob, man. What's going on, dude? Yo, put him... Hey, um... What are you doing? I just got finished talking to my aunt about, um... About my class. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Are you busy right now? Oh, not anymore, no. Um, do you think you could hop on Skype? Yeah, I'll get on it. Okay, uh, just to let you know, um... Uh, last night's podcast, the audio didn't work in. Uh, so right. we're redoing the podcast right now. Alright. So, uh, you can hop in the podcast if you'd like. Alright. Alright, okay, so the people in the podcast, I'm gonna let you know so you can freak out. Mark, Mike, right. and Chance. They can, they might be able to hear you right now, so yell something. Yeah, like yeah, Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, fuckbag, fuckface, faggotron, 5,000. 
I added the 5,000 right, there. All right, I'm just going to add yeah. you to the Skype call and stop talking. No, I'm going to talk to you on the phone as I add you to the Skype call. How does that sound? How's life, Jacob? Uh, Ask him how life is. Uh, Chance wants to know how life is. Chance wants to know how your life is going. Pretty good. That's that's good. That's good. That's yeah, good. That's, 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 that's uh, not a bad answer. No, that's not a bad answer. Ask me if he'll go on a date with me. Uh, hey, hey, Jacob. Yeah. Uh, Chance wants to know if you go on a date with him. Nope. He's in the call. That's not the point. I can still be in the phone with him if I want to be. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on the phone with him. Yeah. So we're still on the yeah. phone while in the pocket. It's like that one time uh-huh. in the podcast where I actually ran to Jacob's house and was uh, talked on his mic for like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. fun. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, because they live like not even like two blocks right, from each other. Phone, Jacob. Right. But uh, I wanted to prove a point because like I feel like someone didn't believe that we live so close oh. or something on the podcast. So I'm like, watch this. And I literally <laughs> ran to his house, and like the podcast was still going on and everything, and, and like I just left like I feel like it was like Mark, Cat, I met with like Cat or something like in the I think it was your Cat. charge, yeah, Cat, and like in the podcast as I run over to Jacob's house, and then I, and I'm like, hey guys, it's like, oh my god, you're actually there. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if someone had fu- What if your power had gone out and you fucking the podcast got destroyed? I didn't Rest think ahead of time. I just kind of did. What if what if, what if someone oh, went God. into your room and oh, fucking oh, closed your laptop? I don't, people huh? don't go in my room though. What if someone decided to? What if it's the police were it's there? It just doesn't happen. It doesn't, it ha- doesn't dude, happen. The police, okay. The police know not to go in my room. What if the police got a fucking warrant because I don't know you're a child pet- this, predator this or some is just, shit? Uh, hypothetically speaking, of course. No, it's not. This is hypothetically <laughs> speaking, of course. I'm saying child predator because I know you. That's probably the most likely crime you commit. Uh, no, we we've, we've talked about this. The most likely reason I go to jail is possession. Oh well, yeah, no, I <laughs> no possession would definitely. We had be this with a conversation once on the podcast where it yeah. was, "What's the most likely reason that some one of us would go for, go to jail?" I feel like Mark was like assault. Because mm. yeah. like, I keep. Oh, I'm still holding on to. I'm still holding the phone to my ear. Why am I? God, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love you, ten. Jacob. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We hung up like, like, we like hung a up minute like, ago. Like, so I'm sitting here, like, ago, I'm, sitting, I'm, I'm sitting here hearing your voice. I'm like, when is this guy gonna hang up? And I so told you I'm hanging up, and you're like, okay. <laughs> Yo, Hydro. What's up? What was the reason I'd go to jail for? Arson. Oh, we're right back. I might have been yeah, arson, actually. Something. Actually, yeah, I probably would go to jail for arson. Hey, okay, so. I don't think it. either Jacob or Mike were on those pod- was on that podcast. So what's the reason they would go to jail? Okay. Mine would be mine would be for being too nice to someone, me being attacked, and then me still going to jail for that. Oh, okay, that, yeah. That yeah. actually might happen. That too. might happen. That's not. That's Why? Not too is he bad. like a real nice guy? Yeah, he's people, he's ridiculously there, there nice. There are some people that actually do that though. Yeah, I can see it. Like, uh, no, um, like you get beat up by a woman, and then she punches herself in the face. Um, yeah, and then or, or, you go to jail. Or like, or like, have you seen those people who who drive their car? Like... No, I've never seen someone drive a car before, Mike. <laughs> What's a car? <laughs> What's if, a you car let, man? if you let me finish, if you let me We're finish, I'll explain. I'll explain what I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I think Ryan was telling me about this too. And um, tie killer, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, persons in front of the of the road, and they literally just bash their head on 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 the windshield and claim oh, yeah. like you know the money because they um you know uh, claim they got hit when they really didn't. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some uh, there are quite a few people that. Yeah. Um. Actually, Russia that. has a big problem with that. Russia is that, is that why Russia has like the uh the, the dash, cams. dash cams now? Yeah, the one dash. The main, like most cars reasons. put, da- like most people put put dash cams on their cars, like <clears throat> specific, specifically like that. for that reason. And I still well, can't Russia's say that word. Weird. Specific. Specific. There we go. Yeah. I can. I can't. I can't like, say the word like, ass. I have to, I have to like sit there and concentrate on saying it for like a good two seconds before I can actually say it. Fifty percent of the time, when I say the word "ask," it comes out "ax." Uh, oh, yeah. I thought you were gonna say "ass." No. Ass, 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 ass. ass, ass. ass. Ask you a question. I mean, uh, uh, penis. <clears throat> this is great May for the. Penis this is balls, great for uh, who was who was her name again? Uh, Alicia was it? Yeah. Alicia. Yeah, Alicia. Watching Alicia. All right. No, I think Jacob might. Jacob's good with names. Spell it again. Uh, what, what? E-L-I-C-I-A. 
That sounds like Alicia, right? It does. It does. If we're okay, so how about this? If we are botching your name and you actually end up watching this, put in like the comment section like how it's pronounced. Like, uh, of course, of course, subscribe <laughs> first. Oh yeah, you gotta subscribe first. You gotta subscribe, like oh, all my yeah. videos. Favorite. Follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook page. I have a Tumblr page too, which is weird. I've used it like twice. Um, I know, and when you do, I'm so surprised. I used it just... like um like the other day to uh, pimp it uh, back when it was episode eighty. Um, Yo, you're just lucky that you have my follow on Twitter. Dude, like seriously though, Chance has like his Twitter account has like what like how many thousand followers? Like five. Like five thousand followers. So I'm I'm just a G. Like wait wait Chance, your yeah? Twitter? I don't have a Twitter, so that sucks. I have Twitter. How do you not have Twitter? It's 2015. I have Tumblr. <laughs> Mark, it's 2015. My God. <laughs> he's a he's what he's one of them. He, yeah, he's How one hipster of them. are you? Um, well, I have three fedoras hanging up on my wall. He does. Oh, that's a fact. Wait, wait, wait. It's a fact. You're so, okay. You're such like a fucking fake hipster. Like you use Tumblr because you still think it's like the hipster thing to do. I bet you listen to like fucking Black Veil Brides too. No, I, I listen <laughs> to My Chemical Romance and Fall Out Boy. Okay, exactly. Uh, 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 <laughs> that would be hilarious go. if you uh, if you said My Chemical Romance, I would have died. You <laughs> did? No, you chance. If you're like, oh, you probably said like what? Uh, my Chemical Romance. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that, uh, uh, those were my top three. Actually, like Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, Black uh, Bell Fall Brides. Out Boy. If you listen to any of those three and you also use Tumblr, there's a 100% chance that you're doing it because you think it makes you cool. <laughs> no, I just, I like the Actually, music. Actually, no, uh -huh, I, can, uh -huh. I can tell you from experience with this guy that he does not think that he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, he thinks he's cool, he's just not. Oh. No, no I, I don't think I'm no, cool. I... Let's get this right, Chance. Chance, I'm going to throw this one out there. He definitely doesn't think he's cool. Like how I that. don't think I'm cool, Circuit thinks he's a god, Mike doesn't think he's cool. Well, and you know. Chance, you think <laughs> you're, you're a you, <laughs> you think I'm what? I'm, I and I'm Chance, fine. how you think you're a sex demon? I am. You're but not. okay, so whoa, 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 whoa. I am. Hope Mark, I got to disagree with you real quick. I'm the hottest person in this <laughs> call. Chance is a sex demon. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's real quick. I'm the best looking person in this call right now. So, so you like to save a lot of money, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, like do not. Suck a lot of talk, right? <laughs> I'm the best looking person in this call. Um, um, you've never seen Mike before, so you don't know. Yeah, Mike's and probably Mike ugly. is a sexy beast. Mike so is. Mike's Mike's a hundred percent Italian. Yeah. Okay, so he's probably ugly. No. Ooh, Mike is no. beautiful. Excuse me, I'm like fifty percent Italian. Yeah, I'm yeah, Italian but, but, too. But Mark, Mark, now now he now he just took over. He now he just he just like bashed our names. That's not cool. Hey man, oh, I'm I am twenty five percent Italian. Hey Tony, get the bat. Dude, the bat's in my car, and like I haven't. Yo, Mark, I just realized we have a perfect name for that now. We, we just literally say, yo, Tony, and it'll still make sense. Because, like, yeah. I am Tony, so, like... Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. I'm going to change dude, my name to Hydroxide out. Tony. That sounds like a 12-year-old, dude. <laughs> Hydroxide Tony. Whenever I hear the name Tony, Tony, I think of someone between the ages of, like, someone that's either 9 or, like, 26. No in between and nothing <laughs> higher. Like, if your name's Tony, you're either 9 or 26. Yeah, I, like... I always viewed Tony as like to what Tony people Manai. called me when I was like a little kid, and then as I got older, people called me Anthony. And then uh, I started bowling. Uh, so I bowled in high school. I uh, I did for four years. In my Varsity. freshman year, my freshman year, um, my brother was on the team. He was a senior, and he called me Tony, which led everyone Tony. else to calling me Tony. Oh, so. Uh, and then when I first met. Tony, he was through Henry, who called me, Tony. and they bowled together. So, yeah, yeah so I got called Tony, Tony. Tony, and uh, my I was no longer Anthony. And well, uh, well yeah, yeah, no. Well, actually, <laughs> we met in uh, like freshman year, so Mark, Mark, sophomore year. That was, so that was sophomore yeah, year Tony. intro to business, man. With Tomo, with Tomo, and um, our, our boy Brandon in the back. You, Tony. What up? What up? You used to be a rig a real big bowler, right? Uh, yeah, actually. He was a bowler. I, uh, I, Yo, can I, I fucking uh, bowl in your alley? Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so Every so day. chance is the pitcher. Got it. <clears throat> hey, Mark, oh, during during our fan fiction, uh, I was the pitcher. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So. 
And and then Ryan went home and Cried. jerked off to himself. Yeah. Oh, what? The gonna, what? That's an exact what, quote. One day we're gonna it. do a special, and uh, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna read it out loud in the podcast. Yo, could someone send that to me? I'll read it it's out. It's actually right, written. Right now. It's written down on paper. I'll yeah, read it out loud right now. Room. It's in my room, written on paper. Yeah. Send me a Snapchat. I'll so, read it out loud uh, right now. Yeah. No. In ten um, <laughs> seconds. Fuck it. We'll do it live. He's gonna read as much as he can. <laughs> but uh, our friend Ella wrote a fan fiction about Mark and I. Uh, for no apparent reason. I think, maybe, did we joke about it? I think Emily joked about it, and then Ella was like, yeah, this is the thing. This was a thing, and like, and like a week later, she she wrote it. Um, and we were like, wait, wait, what? You so did what it's now? like, what, you actually wrote it? Like, that was a joke, right? <laughs> no, uh, she wrote it. And then Tony and I couldn't look each other in the eyes for like 10 minutes. Yeah, it, it, I, I would say it was the rest minutes. of that day. All of yeah. <laughs> we couldn't we, we couldn't make eye contact. It was pretty bad. So, so, so go it, six. Ten minutes or the whole day? Someone's not telling the truth here. It was both. Well, I mean, I mean after ten minutes, we finally started staring at each other's cocks again. <laughs> yeah, but... so like that's so it was normal. I may hey, or may not uh, Alicia, stick or I, ho- I swear he's straight. <laughs> he, I swear he is. Oh God. Yeah, it, it's it's all jokes. Just yeah, it's jokes. totally he's totally joking. Guys, hi. Totally, may or may not have just stapled my finger. <laughs> He's so calm about it. <laughs> I know what it feels like. Just to know what it feels like. Oh, that would hurt. Yeah. Well, but I wanted to know what it feels like. T- t- Tony, you, you know the scar that I have yeah. on the side of my wrist. That was from a knife, right? Scar. Yeah, but everyone around me was freaking out more than I was. I'm like, guys, guys, it's it's just. It's just a deep gash. It, it's cool. It's like We're I'm not okay. gonna die. Falls but a flesh dead. Wound. <laughs> I'm like, there's literally just blood getting everywhere. It's cool. Like, just someone bleached the table after all of this is said and done. Hmm. And they're all like, oh my god, you're gonna die. I'm like, guys, guys, stop. Just what you should have done to but troll Mark, them all was fall over. Dead. Yeah. What if we were all dead? So, yeah, no, for those of you who don't know, I, I, have a, I have a scar on the side of my wrist because of. Uh, working at a Boy Scout camp, and I confiscated someone's knife, and, uh, oh, they, yeah. so the safety bulb down the side, so the thing just swung open in my pocket, and the next time I reached in, it was open, and just slice, wrist, hanging. Mm. So and that's how I went to the hospital the day before the staff trip. Yay! Did you get a staff infection? <laughs> Boy, that would be an ironic. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> it would have been ironic. <laughs> Definitely not fun, but ironic. Yeah. It, w- it would not have been fun for you because that would have been really bad. Uh, but uh, I thought it could be pretty funny in that scenario. I'm kind of disgusted. Disgusted right now. What, did you look in the mirror again? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Chance. Chance, you're beautiful. That's don't listen self-esteem. to him. Uh, Chance, you're beautiful. Don't listen to him. That's a that's supposed to bump up your self esteem. Yeah. Yep. I see. I don't know whether he's gonna laugh at me or he's crying because he's happy. I'm crying. I, okay. So. Uh, okay. What? Let's not pay attention to the little chance crying in the corner. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, so Mark, I really liked Angel Beats. It, I, I I enjoyed it quite a lot. I did not cry though. I know. I, I, my eyes watered up, but, like, no tears were shed. Yeah, I, uh, a lot of people but, cried during it. Um, I didn't. next thing is Clanad and Clanad After Story. Yeah, right now, I'm actually watching, uh, <coughs> we're in high school, host club. God damn it! <laughs> Fucking hate it. <laughs> you don't like that one either? No. Do you not like, it's... uh, what is it, show, uh, shoju or show whatever they're I like some like. shoujo, shoujo, but, like. You, you, Some of them just know, like Fruits two. Basket and Orange High School. I don't know. I like both of them, so I don't know. I think I just like anything I watch, really. I feel like I could watch anything and re- just like it. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. So, could anyone tell me whether the VP Navi series is still going on? Oh uh, yeah, give me a second. I think it is. I checked like ten minutes. Yeah, it's still going on. Can you tell me the score? By to check the score, just mm-hmm. click and uh, play the stream and look at the bottom of it, um, because it'll say uh, on the bottom of the screen. It'll be say uh, 
VP has this many maps compared to like like one O at one point. It was You're like... ugly. <clears throat> uh, yes. Um. The <laughs> same. <laughs> uh. Uh, um. Um. Do you know? Uh, it's like, uh, uh, I have to watch this through this ad first. Oh god. <laughs> That's why you have ad block, I mean, except when you're watching my videos. No. Except when you're watching my videos. Support content creators. Yeah, Come on. yeah. When you're watching my videos or anyone you like, you don't use ad block. But then for everything else, you use ad block. Okay, so Virtus Pro won the first two maps. Uh, Navi won the second map, which was Cobblestone. Oh, the third map, you mean? And yeah, yeah, the third map. The third map. Are they on the fourth map? Uh, on the fourth, What's yeah. The score the Mirage. Fourth map? What's the score? Yeah. Uh, four to four, I think. Okay, cool, cool. You think? Yeah, I think. It's something that you do on a daily basis, you know? Why don't you know? Oh, no, Chance doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I do that on a second basis. Yeah, like, Mark, you only think once a day, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I used it up for today already. Oh, huh, what a gay faggot. <laughs> Contrary to the straight faggot, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Now, actually, there's a great, there's a great piece that I watched the other day with some friends. Was I it by Louis C.K.? Yeah. Yeah, I was. That's what I was just like, going to refer to. Like talking about how you don't call a gay person a fact, faggot. You call, you call someone, someone that's a, fag a faggot a faggot. Like I agree with that. His exact quote is something like, "I don't like. Uh, I would never call. You don't call someone who's gay a faggot." You call someone a faggot if they're being a faggot. <laughs> no, like, I was dying, dude, because it's like, you know, that's true. <laughs> it's the evolution of the English language. It really is. What's funny is one of my, um, uh, one of the YouTubers that I watch ha has said that before in one of his things. He's like, faggot is not a derogatory term. Well, I mean, it is, but not specifically for gay people. Yeah, it's just, I call people that. It's just, being if someone. someone's a faggot, they're being a faggot. Yeah. Th that's it. Like, that's, that's story, nothing to do with their, like, sexuality. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. And, and absolutely nothing to do with it. It's like, I don't know. I don't really have another example, so I'm going to go into my turtle show right now. Okay. But I'm an ant. Picture that. Who's looking forward to Ant-Man, the movie? Uh, I want to see it. No one. Because you're an ant, right? Uh, yeah, I kind of have to support it. It looks yeah. alright. Dude, Paul, I love Paul Rudd, so uh, I think uh, it's going to be kind of mandatory, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what, to see it, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it is. Especially if you are you are an ant. Um, yeah. It's kind of an obligation at this point. I have to see it. Uh, if I don't, I can be, remo I can be like, removed from the ant hierarchy. You don't want uh, that to yeah. happen. Uh, nope. If you if you look hydroxide, like Discord hydroxide on YouTube, I'm um, like the fifth thing down. So huh. uh, yeah. So then again, why would it ev anyone ever type in just the word hydroxide? You never know. <laughs> Maybe they're bored. Maybe they're in science class. Let's let's Google search just hydroxide. So, so, so you're, Google so you're search main, no you're... YouTube search. The, the main reason why you chose this name was basically to distract kids with their science homework. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. So as soon as, soon, as, soon yeah. as they like type in like hydroxide, they'll see you pop I'm like, oh, I wonder what this is. It might be educational. And they, they just get like sucked in and they fail all their tests because they were just consumed by your YouTube hey, channel. Hey, man, if they're into the content, then that's all that matters. That's a pretty good analogy. I, I like where you're going with that. Right? Like, okay, fail your classes, ruin your life. It's okay. But if you subbed and you like all my videos, you're a success. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. The one true key to success is to, li is to like all of Hydra's videos. And sub. Yep. Uh, and if you do that... And sub. You're going to be a winner. I guarantee it. Guaranteed. Yep. There's no way you can end up being a loser if you... Uh... Hydroxide Ant is guaranteeing something. I, I, I think we can all agree. I just guaranteed something. He, he just, how could you not feel safe knowing that his guarantee is a guarantee? When I have ever let any of you down, don't answer that. Uh, all right, then we'll, we'll, just, we'll, just claim, we'll just claim we never said that. Yeah, I didn't say that. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I mean, I don't remember. I was going to say something. Damn it, someone talk about something. No. All right, I love you. Um, but anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm on Facebook, and, uh, you know. How's Facebook yeah, just... going? Do you see anything? That you know, made that's, that's funny, I am too. 
No, no, nothing cringeworthy net yet. Net. Yet. No. Uh, not yet. Uh, okay. Mm, Wait, you're on Facebook nope. too right now. Yeah, nothing, nothing yet. Nothing cringeworthy. Okay. 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 Yeah. But uh, Circuit, I think you would have liked um, take one of uh, background noise episode eighty one because <laughs> Hank kept talking about SJWs the entire time. Oh, that's marvelous. Yeah, I think you would have. I was like, ah, oh, because oh. there was actually a part in the podcast where we were talking about like social issues, and I'm like, dude, uh, why isn't Jacob here? <laughs> well, like, Jacob would be good in this conversation. Like, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, just cause, just cause I got to that point where I, where I got like, it's not even, it's not even that I had to get, it's not even that I had to get into all this stuff, but I, but I ran into one issue, and then I. And then I'm like, I wonder what the root of all this is, and that, and then I just kept on digging, and digging, and digging. And then you're in China <laughs> eventually, and you're a little confused how you got there, but you just kept and digging. And then he, then he just looks up and he realizes there's a hole, and it's like, oh, he's like, you know, I should kind of go there. I should, I should just go that way where there's a pre-dug hole, not dig. And then, so, so you're saying he should just dig his way back? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he, he I'll, should, I'll, should... I'll dig out to the side, and eventually, I'll, eventually, I'll like angle upwards again. He's gotta eat eventually, man. Yeah. You can't just eat dirt. Can, can, I, I know Jake's a pretty smart kid. I, I just want to ask, uh, if I throw a question out there, how he was able to make it through the center of the Earth. I mean, that, that seems a pretty, that seems kind of challenging. Heat shields. Uh, uh, and, I, that, um, Mike, I'll, I'm gonna throw this one out there. If you believe... And your YouTube it's, channel. Yeah, uh, if you, if you like uh, all my YouTube videos and sub to me, you, you're fine. So, so you basically get that, yeah. the access you're immune, to the center like, of the Earth. Yeah, you're immune. You can just walk through anything really hot. That is, pr I might have to take. I might have to watch like every video if I can. Get oh, I'm that not power. gonna say you're gonna live, but you can walk through something hot. <laughs> what? You know what? You know, you know what? I, I, I might be able to take my chances with that because you know if if Jacob was able to do it, I think I can do it too. I mean, I, right? I, exactly. You know, I think I can do it. You can walk through molten lava once <laughs> for about five seconds. Dude, you could totally touch molten lava. Yeah, I mean, you could, you might not, like, you know, might lose a finger. You might lose you, but, uh... Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, I hear skydiving without a parachute is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. <laughs> it is, man. Yeah, yeah. Dude, have you, no one has ever uh, told me they regretted it afterwards. Yeah, 99.9% yeah. .9 of people just don't make it. Yeah, they just die. I got dark. <laughs> what, what happens to the 0.1% of people the who point, don't use that parachute? Where do they go? Um... You know, they just go on their own way. I, I, I made up that percentage, but I'm, I'm just... No, it's, just, it's just, real. Just, it's real. Hey, 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 Mike, Mike, I'm relax, relax. Hair on it and, uh, statistics are made up. <laughs> yeah. Aliens. Okay, okay, but but <laughs> let's just hypothetically say 99.9% .9 of people didn't make it. What happens to those 1.1% of people? Where where, the, where would they go? Um, they're cripples for the rest of their life. Or, or they would probably land in some... Alternate no, they, they, dimension. Yeah, they just ended up in a different dimension. They hit the ground, but they went through the ground. In the hole that Jacob dug. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really ironic that they were skydiving right over where Jacob was digging. And, or into uh, your house, because it has the power of, of hydroxide. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> 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 Don't want random people at my house. Uh, just kidding, I want... No, this game, all, this all game is Orgy. Uh, um, hey, I'm if everyone if there. everyone's shoes off, it's technically an orgy. Yeah. Turn that out there. Where on earth did we, did we find out about that? Someone told it. It was probably. I'm gonna blame Emily. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Is that fair? Is that fair to blame her? I think yeah. So. I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, I think it's pretty it's pretty easy to do that. Sorry, Emily. <laughs> No, no, Emily. Here's here's how this works. I'm blaming. Has you. Emily ever been on this channel? Yeah. Yep. She's been on like two podcasts, I think. But Emily, now that I've blamed you, you can blame Zach. Just throwing that out there. And uh, yeah. and then now it's Zach's fault. Yeah. Right. That's how, that's how this works. That's how this game works. Is it? Is it hydroxide? Ants. Hey man, I'm just gonna let you know, Mike. You can call me Hydro, okay? It's gay. You're gay. All right. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> hydro, hydro. I, I, it kind of flows. It kind of flows. Hydro. It doesn't. Hydro. He's just finding all this out. Hydro. 
Dude, uh, Sky uh, says hi, Drew. <laughs> like H Y D R U. Hi, Drew. <laughs> hi, Drew. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, so on um the ep the part uh fuck a podcast that doesn't exist uh there was a part where we looked up everyone's uh, Japanese names. And uh, oh, well, let's do that. We mine now. Yeah. So mine is Ansoni. Like A N S O N I, I think, or something like that. Oh. That's how it would be pronounced. Uh, it's Anthony. Uh, I looked up. Well, I think Cat looked them all up. She looked up Mark's name. She looked up your name, Jacob. I don't care. Mark is like Maku. Or <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> it's my pretty... it. What's yours? I, I kind of like mine. What's yours? My Kuru. My Kuru. Hey, can, M A I K E R U. Can someone look up Chance? I'm sorry, what? We're looking up uh, Japanese names. Um, I want to know your I Japanese name. Don't fucking name. know. There probably isn't one. Japanese word for Chance. Oh, what is it here? Hold on. Um. Oh, he's looking it up. Nope. 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 All right. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, are you, this used you Google okay, Translate exactly. or something? <laughs> Because Google Translate's totally not inaccurate. Alright, fine. I'll just come well, up with whatever. For, well, not for single words. It kind of isn't. Kind of isn't. <laughs> kind of isn't. <laughs> you know, like, it, it might, like, misspell it or something, but... Yeah. Or if you try to use, like, a word that, that, doesn't, that literally does not exist in that language. Like, um, I don't think... In Russia, I don't think they have... Chansu. Uh, chansu. It, it's Chansu. What the fuck? <laughs> chansu. Yeah, Chansu. Chatsu kun. There's also Why 19 so more translations. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. What, which one is underneath there? Um, flight, mail, post, opportunity, chance. Oh, okay, that's that's. That's uh, not that's what you want to click on, Mike. Stop clicking yeah, on yeah. random links. <laughs> opportunity, <laughs> chance. Yeah, no. We're looking for uh, chance. Good opportunity. We're looking chance, for chances. Pause. Rope company. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what if, like, so you Google that and it exists? What would you do? Um, sue them for taking my name? Yeah. Uh, Let's see. That now, but what happens, though, if it was, like, a hundred year old company? Come. But, uh, I'll still sue them? Chikai. It Go depends on if they've renewed the, um, if they've remo Kapi renewed man. the copyright or not. Yeah. If they haven't renewed the copyright, then I Chance can technically that. sue them. True. Geeky. I'm not sure if he'll win the lawsuit or not, but he probably can not. Yeah, probably not. But like, he can't. You can sue anyone. But you're I not, can do it. Not win though. Yeah, you can do <laughs> it. You can't say you're gonna sue about anyone. The fact whether you're gonna win or not, though. Yeah, that's the part you need to worry about. Yeah. Do you need to worry about it? D yes. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Cause you, cause if you lose, then that's a lot of money that just went down the drain. Unless you're rich. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm rich. Yeah. Well, what if I mean, he is? Yeah, no one answers because they're like, "Wow, wait, what if? What if?" Yep. I don't know why I said what if, but I pictured like a majestic like eagle, like spreading its wings and flying away. And taking Mark with it. <laughs> yeah. No, that's now that's in my head. But Mark is a phoenix. I think I think phoenixes would be bigger than eagles. So both of them would battle and then take you, Jacob, with them. <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just a circuit board. So. <laughs> no, what you're they... you're yeah. Yeah. What would they do with a circuit board? <laughs> I don't know. What what do birds do with electricity? Die. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like it's gonna take you to a random um, place and commit seppuku. Suddenly, uh, suddenly Sudoku. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I committed Sudoku. <laughs> oh. How sad. Mm. Would it be if someone committed Sudoku? Would you be sad? Yep. Be someone, sad? All because it someone who it is. five instead of a uh, What if it was Jacob? I'd be happy. What if it was Mark? Uh, I'd be kind of sad. What about Mike? <laughs> I'd be very sad. That wow. Well, I'm not even gonna ask me because you'd be like, I'd, I'd, you'd be like, I'll throw a party. Yeah, to celebrate the life you lived. Oh, that's 
That's actually not the thing I was expecting you to say. I was expecting you to be like, yeah, fuck you. Hey, to celebrate that you're finally gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, then, and then, you, then you take over his channel. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll be I, I mean, I already own it. I'm chance. the only sponsor. Hydroxide Chance. Hydroxide Chance. I mean, I already own it because I'm the only sponsor, so... Or, or you could just make it Hydrochloric Chance. No. Hydrochloric. You, you no. want to keep Hydroxide? Yeah. You, you All right. gotta keep the hydroxidant. I mean, go. hang on. Let's let's be real. Let's be realistic here. If Chance were to take over, were to take over the channel, we'd probably name it like Chloroform Chance or something like that. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> Chlor Welcome to another Chloroform Chance production. <laughs> On this episode okay, of Chloroform Chance takes risks, I chloroform myself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that like how I said that um, Chance didn't take chances, I said Chance takes risks. Chance, I thought you'd appreciate that. <laughs> I, I mean, at least it's not another Chance pun. Fact, it's not. Or is it? It's not. I hate you all so much. I love you. Well, I mean, we didn't make the pun this time. Yeah, we actually didn't. We I avoided yeah. making the pun. We, he might be upset, though, that we're referring to the Chance <laughs> Thing. Yes! <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> that might be why. I'm not exactly sure. Hey, Mark. Hey. Yeah? You got any good chance jokes? No. No. Okay, good. Hey, Mark. I mean, I mean knock, he, knock. He, he oh, goes, who's he there? a picture of his face. Chance. But, uh... Chance who? Oh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. No, but fucking what? Finish, but he didn't no, finish the joke. Did you go Mark set? No. I said you should just post a picture of him. And do what with it? You oh. said you wanted a chance joke. Aw, oh, good so me, oh. dude. Oh, what a bad guy. Me, no, uh, me making fun of his name and then no, making no, fun chance, of the picture. No, no, Chance, I love you. I love so, you, Chance. No, no. 6 p.m. and I'm gonna go to bed because of fucking Mark. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be laying knock, in bed, knock. damn Mark. <laughs> Who's there? Knock, knock. <laughs> Mark, just so you know, you're the reason why I'm going to bed. Much. Who's there, yeah, Mike? Knock, Mark, knock. The, the, Who's, there? Who's there? Mark. Mark who? Mark's a fucking whore. <laughs> he took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, Chance left? <laughs> well, I mean, your mouth was busy with something else. I wasn't gonna... I was speaking, oh. Mark. I was speaking. Why did Chance actually leave? Wait, did Chance actually yeah. leave? <laughs> Wait, he left? Yep. Damn it. <laughs> How could this happen to me? Made my mistakes. But it didn't There's happen no to you, it happened to, to chance. And then that goes I everyone should just leave. That's not, oh that's a bad idea. <laughs> like, chance is back. I missed you. Ow. Yep. I hit my knee. Uh-huh, uh -huh. I set my knee. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I don't even know who you guys are anymore. Who are Chance, you? Chance, don't worry. I call myself a whore on the on. You are a whore. I mean, look well, in the mirror. Yikes. Is he gonna see like? Uh, I see three dicks in, in my mouth. Okay, Is that that's, a problem? That's uh, no. I mean, I'm sure Alicia, uh, really <laughs> entertains that thought. But what if it's not even pronounced that way? I mean, we're fucking up really badly, and I'm no, no, sorry. I mean, like, what, what if it just told like? Don't even know the pronunciation of that. Like, like what if it's totally something wrong. really different, like Alicia? Right? That's actually a possibility. Like, um... Alicia. Spelled again, Mark? Or like Alice. E-L-I-C-I-A. -E Alicia? It could be Alicia. Um... It could be Alice. Who knows? Uh, yeah. But that, that's how it's spelled, but it's pronounced differently. Who knows? Yeah, like, what if, what if it was... Her name was, like, uh... Uh, Czechoslovakia or something. It was just really spelled. <laughs> Czechoslovakia. <laughs> like, like the name of a country. Hey, look, people name their kids after things all the time. Like. Oh no, I wasn't saying yeah, a bad thing. That's a like, point. Look, I mean, there, there are some people that name their kids. Go fuck yourself. Wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you better Czechoslovakia yourself before you wreck Slovakia yourself. Oh. Oh. Uh, hey, get fucked, dank motherfuckers. Memes, man. Dang. God, you'll get fucked. When? Oh, he's low again. No. No. Maybe he actually is going to sleep. No. 
No, he's he's getting back here. No, I'm I'm just gonna keep calling him until he comes back. He I'm gonna call Mark. He know why? <laughs> oh, I wait, I can oh you wait you can't actually call someone within the call. Nope. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Then I'm not calling Chance Mark. Chance will come back eventually, because he hates us too much. Um, okay. Alright, so what do you think Chance is doing right now? So Alicia or Alice? I can't tell. Yeah, I don't know how it's spelled. Or like how you pronounce it. You know, I'm going to guess that we came close... Um, but I could be wrong at the same time. I think Chance is actually gone. Because, uh, he's away in Skype now. Ooh. He, he just, yeah, he moved away. Exploring a cave. Because why not? Yeah. Yep, he's gone. I mean, hey. Hey, weird things. not much else to do. I'm going to keep spamming him, though, throughout the rest of this podcast. So it appears he's here. Um, so we can pretend he's here with us in spirit. Right about now. What if? Or now. Or not. Or not. Yeah. <coughs> pretty soon, pretty soon, oh pretty soon. my god. That was at least a seven. <laughs> <laughs> you see, sometimes I forget how inappropriate I can be on these shows. How inappropriate. I think chances. Is I need to not tell people that I'm on here. Oh uh, no, you need to tell everyone you're on here. Tell no. everyone, Mark. I'm gonna tell everyone you're on here. Mike, Mike, I'm on here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Mike's everyone. You said tell everyone. <laughs> hmm. Fair point, man. Fair point. So, how have you guys been? Dead. Oh, okay. How's that treating you? Um, cold. Hmm. Do you need a blanket? I'm dead. I don't feel anything. So no? Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, if you want one. I mean, who said dead people can't have blankets? He has a point. Right. Like, what if, like, your last wish was, I want blanket? I is cold. And, like... And... Okay. This... What do you want written on your tombstone? I don't think uh, this is flammable. Last word. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you win at life. <laughs> don't worry, I guys. Die. I'll respawn. <laughs> Responding in 10, <laughs> 9, 8. Uh, that's good. Um, let's see. I'm behind you. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. Here lies an empty casket. Oh god. Just to freak people out, like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you should say something like really like stupid, like um I love knock knock jokes. <laughs> knock on the coffin. Knock knock, knock. knock. Who's there? And then you get a response. Holy shit. It's like I told you I loved it. <laughs> That's oh yeah, yeah. Right. Have like a vo have like a voice recording. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Of you telling a knock knock joke. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. But like every time, like if they had interactive graves, like there's some way you can leave like a a, a series of like voice recordings. Yeah. And um, you could answer questions. Wait, wasn't that like a thing for a while that people were gonna start doing that? I I don't know honestly. No, no, I, I honestly think that was, like, on the news, like, a few months ago, that, like, that was going to be, like, the new thing, where you, you were going to have, like, an SD card, like, slide into, you know, like, a tombstone, and it was going to be, like, showing, you know, images and, like, video of, like, that person and how they live. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, like the, um, the post-mortem slideshow. Yeah, the, the only thing, I, That's though, not actually what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but the that's, only reason that's why, the, you know, that came to mind. Yeah, yeah I mean... The only reason why they don't really want to do it is because it number one gonna be really expensive and number two, how is it gonna deal with all like the weathering and stuff like that? Because I mean it is a technology device that has to be, you know. And on top of that, how well will it stand up to the years? Because even 
even today, like even by today's technology, like unless there's constant maintenance, and sometimes even with constant maintenance, the um, you know, electronics will eventually start to degrade, and they'll and they won't perform as well. And especially like people defacing stuff and being disrespectful as well. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that the SD card would be in some place where it's not immediately exposed. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course. Like it would probably mean, be built know, into, people, people into like, in, like into the, like into the stone. So that way it's not just like immediately like first rain it's done you know right right people want to be jerks sometimes though so they really yeah. don't care i mean it, it's a cool idea it's it's not yeah, a bad I idea be, at all i, I think Honestly. it would be kind of creepy at first because you, yeah. you would just be seeing a whole bunch of pictures of these people while they were alive like on their on their grave so well i mean it it would be more i think it would really be more for like a family kind of thing where um where it's like you know you you go to visit the grave and you hit yeah, you can probably you can either like hit a button or I think or, or we can have like a key or yeah, something. Yeah, you have to turn yeah, type in have, a like, certain a password or something to uh, access yeah. the video. Yeah, yeah sometimes cool. I I I mean, just just by the concept of this, I can already tell there's gonna be somebody who does that. But there's gonna be somebody who just has it like running all the time for anyone who passes by. Yeah, they'll have to have like solar panels or stuff like. Yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be one dude who's who's that conceited where there's like it's like no everybody everybody needs to see. Needs to see the way I lived. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, right? Yeah. It could happen. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing right off the bat, but, you know, it, it really depends on their attitude. Hmm. Right. You know, the attitude they had in life. That's a good point, honestly. And then there's also, um, while we're talking about post-mortem stuff, um, there's also, like, those, like, life pods, they, I think they call it, where it's, like, they bury you with like a with like um I think it was like with a sapling or something like that and they have and they have it so that so that instead of a instead of a grave, a tree grows in your in your place. Oh. So like so eventually it's like it's you start with like a graveyard and eventually and eventually you have a forest and each of the trees will be representative of a different person that passed on. Oh. That's actually really cool. Yeah, it's a really cool it's a really cool idea. I mean, like, so this is gonna sound be like. Sound well, I mean, like it won't be until the trees start choking each other out for sunlight. That's but true. you know, this is this is now kind of switching gears. But um, do you ever think that we're run? Will we will run out of room uh, to bury people? Um, that, that's kind of a legit question. Right? It depends where I, you are. I though. actually, I think so. Eventually, it's all then again. Because because uh, eventually, you you're gonna run out of land. Yeah, yeah. But then there's also there's also things like the number like the number of cultures where instead of burial they do like cremations. Like that, um, that is true. Like cremation is an option. Like you, but just think about like to... the amount of people that die every day. Right? Well, yeah, and yeah. That say that like fifty percent of them decide to get buried. Like, and it's yeah. probably a lot more than fifty percent. But yeah. let's say fifty percent. How? But then there's there's also things like people who died to like who like you know people who died to like who like to sorry who died to like violence and the person has to like hide the body or something like that so you have but, like, you have to send a appeal like that but they can still be buried well yeah they can still be buried like it's that's just that that's called be, like, a closed casket funeral compared yeah. to an open no I'm casket. no I'm talking about the, I'm talking about cases where they don't find the body or 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 where they're or where they're hidden by via like. You know, like ha like having the having the body be thrown into like the river or something yeah. like that. That's that's a. Fair you know, like the like the barrier. They, they most likely are... wouldn't uh, consider that person dead though. Well, because yeah. If they they would consider them alive because. That that is like in general though, that is a pretty interesting argument, just for the fact that like, the space we do have is finite. So. Right, yeah, there's a is. certain amount of space we have. Like we can't really create more space and and that's like i said like it, it goes depending to the place you are yeah. like in i don't know like like uh, new jersey mm -hmm. right yeah. that that's a real possibility like R rhode island that's a real possibility because those places are so small yeah. and you know uh maybe more new jersey than rhode island because you know new jersey is really densely populated rather than you know rhode, rhode island is just generally a small state yeah but new jersey is kind of both it's a small state that is densely populated, so... Right. Yeah. So that, that is a real possibility. I mean, that, that is pretty, you know, a legitimate, um, 
you know, question. Yeah. I feel like, um, I feel like what most like what will most likely happen is, it's not that they would dig up bodies, but rather that they would, in a sense, they would sort of reuse spaces. I, I don't think that would happen, though. I don't think people would I, go... I think, dude, you know, you'd have way too many people complaining about that's way too inhumane. And, yeah, uh, it, it's not really respecting. They wouldn't be able to get done. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really, that wouldn't happen. I mean, it, yeah, well, I mean, I'm not... Well, no, I'm talking, I'm talking about, like, I'm talking about, like, put, like, putting a body on top of another All one. All right, that's let's take a, We'll, we'll and, come and, back and to this quick timeout. Mark, go ahead. Right. The worst possible board game combination would be Jumanji, Cards Against Humanity Edition. Oh god. Mm. <laughs> oh god. Because Jumanji is for those of you who are apparently like, you know, too young to understand I I know there's none of us here, but like audience wise. Jumanji was a movie about a board game that made anything that uh the game said happen in real life. Oh my god. So for those dude. of you who play cards against humanity Imagine that. <laughs> just imagine everything every card you play actually happening. Well then, um That's terrible, dude. Mecha Hitler. <laughs> Mecha Hitler, oh god. <laughs> On that note, German what Jacob said it. probably can come true. Uh... Oh, and what about and what about the cards where you where you write where you get to write your you know, where you get to write out what happens on your own? Ooh. Mad libs? No, no, I'm talking about the cards. Like cards the cards man, in Party Games A. Like they have oh, a blank oh, card right, where you right. can where you can like you can just write your own answers and all that. Good point. Mm. Can't imagine what some fucked up things people would come up with. Yeah, this is a really bad right? idea. I, I hope this never happens. Let's do it. Oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, 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 those are those are the 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 words of Mark Tombstone. Let's do it. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> I mean, they said I'm it back would be. Huh? All right. So hmm? we were talking about Jacob. You were talking about something. Oh yeah. Um. I mean, it would it would definitely be like a it would definitely be like a choice kind of thing, really. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be the kind of thing where it's like where it's like no, we have to we have to like bury we have to start burying people on top of each other. But um, the the thing that really brought the thing that really brought this idea, idea to my head was um was actually that uh, when my grandmother died, and it was a, and this actually turned out to be something that they, that they, that that her and my grandfather arranged ahead of time, because my grandfather died like like way like way long ago like when my mom was like 10 but um when my grandmother died she actually she actually had it so that she would be buried uh with her casket on top of my grandfather's casket okay so that so that was a th that was the thing that that brought, that that led to that i mean it, or at least um it was something like um I guess you could say like a family grave, you know, like one, like one graveyard where the where where the whole family go goes goes once they pass on. Yeah. That's true. And then and then if need and then if need be or if the or if the people decide so decide they can have they can have it so that so that, so that couples were, you know, buried like that. Yeah, if they if they give that legitimate option um out and it could help out, but even if you did couple by couple, eventually it. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm, well, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that it would solve the space issue. I'm saying it would. It would get. It would give more time. Yeah, for sure. A lot, and there's also there's also like cer there's also like ceremonial stuff like um like 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 we all remember um learning about like the about like the um the burial at sea thing. That law, my that um, law cult my uh, great grandfather, uh, we well, it was a little. It wasn't really a burial sea thing, but it was kind of like a, we, or maybe it is. Uh, I don't really know. It was kind of weird. So what we did was, he was cremated, right? And um, we got like a little, a little like boat that we put his ashes in, and we right. sailed it into the ocean. Or not into the ocean at some sort of point somewhere. I don't really remember. I was really young. I was like four or five when we did this. Um, I could probably come back next week with the exact what it was, but um, we did that, and that was pretty interesting. Because it's like whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. happened to that? <laughs> I 
Like, um, know. there are there are a good number of families that still do that. Actually, um, do you spread the ashes out over out over the, side of the boat after after no, you went I've out? No, I've done or... that before. I did that. With my, I've done that with my uh, great grandmother actually. Uh, ah. For her ashes, um, my dad's friend uh, has a small boat, and we went out to the ocean, and we dumped. Her, uh, oh, dumps sounds like a terrible word. Uh, we spread her ashes um, in the ocean. Yeah. Um, well, what I was talking about was actually um, was uh, for a lot for a lot of, and this is actually based on like really old traditions. But um, but what they would do is they would they would put the body onto onto like a small boat, and then. Right before casting the boat off, they'll light it on fire and then let and let it and let it sail isn't, outward. What, isn't that more like of a almost like Native American tradition? Uh, there's there's a, like there actually, I think there was one tri- one or two tribes that did that, and then there was and then that was also very popular among among, um, among like European um, European cultures. Like uh, I, I believe the the Greeks did it. I I think the Vikings did it. Oh my God! It's called a Viking funeral. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> that's what that's called. It's called a Viking funeral. Oh. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what that is. Cause uh, haven't you ever heard yeah. someone say like, "Oh, it's a Viking funeral" or something? Yeah. Penis. Yep, yeah, a Viking penis funeral. That that's that is a wonderful way to uh you know. Relieve the relieve the pressure there. Yeah, exactly. It's like oh, I, don't I think want it made this a anymore. good contribution. No, like yeah. what if like um you had a funeral for your penis, like you just lose it, <coughs> and you had to lose what? your funeral for it. I almost did something very inappropriate. No, it's it. Nope. Do it, Mark. No, 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 Jacob. I cannot say this on the podcast. Uh, All right. Can you All put right. it in the group chat? In the group chat? Or send it to just me. Well, no, no, I'll put it in the Facebook group chat. That's what I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, I totally won't read it out loud. But actually, no, because if I say it, it's not that bad. You know what? Now I'm kind of curious, because when someone says, oh, I can't say it because it's too bad, I'm like, all right. Is it, is it really too bad, right? Like, how bad yeah. could it be? You know? Okay, it's in the group chat. Oh man, this is gonna be... that'd be a pretty big funeral, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly choked. Oh, God. <laughs> oh man, Ryan. <laughs> See, he's <a> big man. <laughs> uh, so basically, um, to fill the audience in, because I feel like we need to, uh, we're ha- uh, Jacob had a funeral for his penis. And, uh, basically, our friend rest Ryan peace, Tykiller basically just said, rest in peace, big man. <laughs> Get it? Because, because he's black? Yep. It's in... God. It's in, right? <laughs> Those are sort of a lot of ashes to spread. Dude, that's... Uh, that's a big pile of ashes, man. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh, God. I swear we're all straight. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like we all know each other. It's, yeah, nope. It's not like all four of us know each other or anything. That's weird. I think this this might be the most IRL people I've ever had. No. No, it's not. But, like, this is the first time. Right now, 100% of the podcast is people I know are IRL. Yeah. Yeah. And other than the few times we had episodes where it was just Mark, Jacob, and myself, I think this is the, really the only time it's happened. Yeah, definitely. Because, uh, Chance was on, but, uh... Well, wait, wasn't there a podcast that was, like, Ryan, Stephen, Henry, Miguel? Oh, you're right. But, uh, I feel like... Yeah, there was... Was there anyone that we didn't know there? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. No, there was two of them like that. And, um, yeah, and that might have been it. But, like, that was really, like, chaotic. And this is more like a relax, actually, we can have a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> You're feeling really relaxed, Mark. I'm so fucking really tired right now. Yeah, man. Man, now that 
you know, girls who I'm talking to are watching this podcast. I need to start watching what I say. This is live. No, you it's don't. Not live, you need man. to say everything okay. that comes to mind. No. So, um, so shout out to Jasmine real quick. She, I'm texting her about. She's probably gonna end up watching this. Um, uh, she just gotcha. asked me what we're talking about, and I said not penises. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that, you know that's that's a really Doesn't she perfect be answer. That's a really will perfect be answer. In a, in a close future. Good. Good. That's a really perfect answer, um, you know, for She's gonna watch it anyway. a podcast that only has three guys on it right four now. Four guys. <laughs> There's four of us. Yeah, that's what I meant. You, I only see three on my screen. Sorry, I forgot. You didn't count yourself, Mike. Nope. Nope, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I mean, cognito. You're cognito. Um, Mike's not a male, confirmed. Oh. Wow, Mark. That, that hurts. Wow. You went there. How do you know? Uh, I, thought we, I, th- I thought we were Italian brothers, Mark. We are. I thought, we, I thought you were more than that. But we're Italian siblings, not necessarily <laughs> brothers. <laughs> wow, dude. Wow. That was funny. That was funny. Ha, ha, it's funny, yeah. I agree, I Face agree. Face is funny, funny, Mark. I know, I look in the mirror and laugh. Me too. All the time. Knock, knock. <laughs> when you accidentally... Uh, open up the camera and you just see yourself just oh, oh I look like shit today yes hey th- does anyone want to like hang out after the podcast I, I-, I could be up um, for that um sure yeah it, it like depends how long after the podcast yeah true cause uh, I I'm gonna talk in th- words Hydro. Don't you oh well, I, I need to apparently have a Skype call after the podcast too. I uh, I need to talk to Jasmine after the podcast. For a little bit. Yes, and so. I need to talk to Alicia uh, after the podcast. No, aren't we all just getting one big Skype call then? Yeah, it's just one big Skype call. <laughs> a group of guys plus a group of girls, then we're all good. Yo, let's, yep. let's do it. You should no, you should ask. Okay, um, we'll talk about this after the podcast. <laughs> yes, yeah, we'll talk about this after. But podcast. we're actually an hour and 12 minutes into this. Oh, so it could be yeah, after the podcast. this could be after the podcast. I think we're going to end it here. Um, oh, so oh, oh, this okay. has been episode 81 of Background Noise. If this recording didn't work, chance I'm using your rope company. All right. Thank you, everyone, for oh, watching. God. Bye.